Hi guys and welcome to Inktober Day 2 and we'll just get right to it. And uh, as, as we said before, today is a uh, shopping mall, as we'll throw the list up right about now. It is a uh, Day 2 shopping mall. Or it says shop, and I guess the idea was supposed to be like one of those tiny little villager shops where they're just kind of penned in and they sell stuff. Uh, I thought I'd take it a little different and do something you don't really see here in at least where I am on the west coast and do a shopping arcade or at least my understanding of it and my understanding of a shopping arcade is a semi outside building so I've, I've kind of mixed the two and there are shops little pendant well the idea of little pendant villager shops I never put villagers in it because of the design I did um, but the building doesn't have really doors, it's just big wide opening gaps. As you'll see soon enough. And here's the little 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 tiny stalls that will be the shops, I guess. I've 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 only ever seen one shopping arcade in real life. And I just I the concept is cool. I still don't fully understand the idea and I was far too lazy to Google it. So you're getting a cool weird shopping area. Well, market, whatever you want to call it, and the pig. The pig is Oliver. He wants to be first in line for everything, so he's so early that the building's not even done yet. Excuse my drinking noises. I'm still drinking Kool-Aid. It is a different cup. It is a new thing of Kool-Aid. It is still from the same jug though because I just made four liters of Kool-Aid. And as you can see, there's um I was trying to make a little bobble. I don't know what to call this. A, a circle, a bobble, a cool little seating area. And my brain could not remember how to do a circle. For the life of me. Just 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 that's not how it's supposed to look. That's not a circle. And and I could it, I finally kind of dawned on me that it was a nine long circle in the center but I was doing nine in the center as well as trying to do nine on the top and it took me a long time to figure out why it wasn't working why it wasn't adding up to what I had originally done it for and I'm just why why is it not working and then I dawned on me like oh I'm an idiot I'm an idiot and then I decided to do an 11 circle for anyone who doesn't know what that means, is there's a really cool circle chart. They've been done many, many times. And the number is referred to how many blocks from, how, how big is the diameter essentially, including the edges. So, and each one looks slightly different because it's hard to make circles with squares. But there's a the center. Essentially that circle is the center bit of the long part of the shopping arcade. I'm going to keep calling it even though it's probably wrong and not actually what it's called. Sh market. It's now a market. Flea market. Uh, and I tried to mirror the same sides and I realized the trees were just a little, little too close for my liking. As in, when I realized how long it was, I was in a tree. So, they got destroyed. A lot, because I think I have to tear down one more? Nope, just enough just enough and it looks okay. So we'll bring the walls up to the same height. Okay, where did my pig go? Oh well. Um, there's a horse now. I've lost a pig, gained a horse. Fantastic. There is a ravine nearby. The pig might have actually just fallen in it. I don't know. But if we go to the left of the camera, I don't think you ever see a shot of it properly, but the house is nearby. Is As I said, we're just going to build one big little town. One big little village town. Weird, weird conjunction of buildings. As we go through Biltober, and hopefully it will just look really cool in the end. We'll fill in the rest of the floor. Or at least a chunk more of the floor. Because, man, there's... I need to start speeding up these videos just a little bit more. Because I don't... I, I, man. 
This took me, when all the recording was done, I had an hour and 10 minutes of footage. I shortened it down to around 15 minutes. Certain parts are not sped up, but still, that's a very long time. Fucking horse. It was in my way a lot. Um, but you'll see in this part where you, I've got like a little corner stall that ends up going away just because I did decorate this building. This building is properly decorated. Not whatever I did with the house last night because I was just way too tired. It is properly decorated, it is properly done. There's actual signs for sale signs and such in, in the shops. There is no villagers manning it though. But here, the, the, there you go, you get the basic outline of what the mall looks like now. It's a little T, I guess. I don't, I don't know what kind of shape that is. I ended up calling this the Moose Mall because, well, you'll see at the end. This is the Moose Mall. And I'm Canadian, it was fitting. So we got my house. <laughs> God, we got, we got my house and we got the Moose Mall. It seems I, um, if, if I have one more stereotypical Canadian thing, we've got the Canadian Big Old Tober episodes. And no one's gonna get the My House reference because they don't live in Canada. And it's an old, old, old commercial. So, again, I wanted, the way I wanted it is the little, the little nubbin. I want it to be the main entrance, and the sides I want it to be spectacular, but not as spectacular as the front. So I, I, I toyed with a few ideas. I toyed with a low roof, I toyed with a lo low roof, a, a low roof, and then a higher roof, and I, I, I kind of did a mix. I, I did the high roof, so I'm gonna do. Um, I was gonna try and do a mosaic. It ended up lo not looking nice. It's not a nice mosaic. I'm not good at little ones. I can do really, really big ones, but little ones are a little too hard. But then it slopes into a slightly, into a lower roof. And um, I didn't realize how bad my camera angle was until later on. So both of the tops of the roofs, you don't really see me doing the very top, just cause I didn't notice how much I was facing down, or at least my shadow was facing down because I don't think I cut all of them, but you'll see me slowly stop and then play with the camera, like now. Me just stopping to play with a camera. Oh, the pig's back! There he is. He, he decided he didn't want to be first anymore, or that I was taking too long. Probably both. So, I've shown you the back angle so you can see how I did the back now. It's, it, it, it's a very, very simple staggered thing. Three, three, and then I think one, and then it slopes upward slowly. And I left a little bit extra where the circle is because I was unsure at the time what I wanted to do with it. I was thinking like maybe I'll have a half dome, maybe I'll have it fully opened. I don't know. It was a lot of me running back and forth to make sure I do mirror it properly because I'm slightly paranoid it's going to be off by one and I'm going to notice it way too late and it's just going to bother the shit out of me. If, if, if it takes time, it means you put more effort into it according to common thinking. Usually it's just procrastination. But supposedly it means I put effort into this. But yeah, I, I did. This was 10 a.m. So I went to bed, I, I set everything uploaded, I rendered and uploaded during the middle of the night for last night's episode, that's why it went up so early. Then I started doing this. <laughs> it was, it's been a weird day. That's why I drink, why I drink super sugary drinks at stupid times in the morning and night, because I don't drink anything else. But yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna show you the edges edges the the backside of the 
I don't know what to call this. The 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 tun I'm gonna call it the roof tunnel because that's what it looks like. And here's where I realized I didn't show how to do the roof. Is again, it's really simple. Cause I I didn't like how flat the house looked, so I added a lot more trimming. And here's the, uh, the the back circle. I again, I had no clue what I wanted to do with this, so I did finish the circle. It is an eleven circle, and I was just like, I don't, I don't know what I want to do. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I did make it taller in the end just to match up with a little better with the roof. And then I decided I didn't want to go find my circle chart again because I had to bring that up on my phone. It was just a little too hard to read. So I went with an open design. And I brought everything up in the circle. Just just open and I really started to realize this looked like White Castle because it is a White Castle. And I did it so it's it's structurally sound kind of but not quite. And I start start bringing in the roof so that it matches up with everything else. But again, I don't want to finish that center conjunction until I have all the roofs semi done so that they all match up. And here's the front, the front entrance where it's just it was supposed to be the super grand entrance, it was supposed to be the best. I kind of like the clockwork or not, you haven't seen it yet. I kind of like the mosaics a little better, but the mohawk entrance is quite nice. <laughs> You'll see what I mean by that after. I have this weird thing because I've got the chocolate bar roof on the house and I've got a mohawk on a moose shopping mall now. So again, we, I like I liked the staggering pattern with the with the andesite sla polished andesite slabs along with the polished dorite. And the reason I went with polished dorite is here, all of our malls are quite old. There's one new mall and it already looks like it's goddamn 20 years old. It's falling apart. The roof is literally falling apart and it is only two years old. And I finished the roof. I decided I wanted that area to have an opened, opened area into the circle. So I finished up the tunnel. I wanted that tunnel closed because it looked funny with it open. So it's there's there's two open bits really on the roof, and I added crenellations just to make it look more castly, because I had already accepted this looks like a castle. <laughs> but yeah, there's my mohawk. But yeah, so the white makes it look like it's a really really pale white building. It's got that hospitaly smell, but it hasn't been cleaned in a while. So it's it. it the door it gives it that look, and the andesite's just a nice finish. I did toy with before starting using the unpolished andesite slabs, but it was just just a little too murky. There we go. Now I'm going to try the mosaic. How good is my art today? It's not. <laughs> and again, keeping with the I don't know how to clean buildings feel, we I went with the cyan because it does look dirty with the light blue there. The light blue didn't work. And I, I, I didn't know what to do with this mosaic. And then uh, I, I was like, oh, it's a clock. Clockwork. Yes. Clean. I, I made a clock. I got bored, made a clock. And again, I, I, I don't know how to do things. There we go, it's finished. The inside, you can see there's lights on the inside now. Um, I have decorated it. We're going to go in and aside in a second. Both sides are mirrored with the andesite and the dorite. Got the lovely circle in the back. So I fell. And here's how we got decorations. So we've got actual accessible, the trap doors work. We've got a door to make it look like they have actual storage space in the back and each one has their own chest to make it look like they have product. I have product on the walls and pricings. I tried to make them match like I've got a little food stall next to potions and armor <laughs> weapons and armor and there's another food stall across from the first one the ceilings have lamps in them and yeah we have a food court fr the front of it and here's the food court nice lovely outshot 
And don't forget to like and subscribe if you want more of this or you just want to see it more. Ring that bell and here's where you see a moose.